the believer's efficiency as a child of God and as a witness is power dependent no matter how prepared you are to be a witness you can learn doctrine wonderful you can learn character wonderful but if the power component is not captured in your preparation believe me it will look like God did not send you I hope you know that Moses already began to learn the wisdom of Egypt according to Paul's teaching before he left to encounter the God of the Bible yet when he was returning God said no no I will not send you just like that take this rod is a rod wherewith you will rot signs and wonders let me submit to you sincerely our generation needs a revival of genuine power our understanding of power for the average believer in this generation is falling down and standing up and while we do not downplay anything that is sponsored by the spirit there is a level of power we need to go back to study history how far did God use this man how far did God anoint them men who shook cities by such a display of power you know let me tell you the truth Today we pride in having revelation. You listen to those people, sometimes they had a simple childlike message. Repent, Jesus is Lord. Then they say, now sit down and watch. I'm done talking. I have told you to repent. You are justified to not understand it. But let me show you what he can do. When the blind see, when the deaf hear, when the dead are raised back to life, when lives change, that one is a manifestation of the power of God and this is one of the things that we are missing you would go to a crusade that is full of tens of thousands of people and preach and preach and make another call and only five people will come out is that a crusade you sang you acted drama there were all kinds of motivations you even shared water and shared all kinds of drinks to motivate the people and then you preach and out of tens of thousands of people go and read Acts chapter 2 the Bible says when the Holy Ghost fell 3,000 people in a moment 3,000 people one moment no clashing of cymbal no bass guitar no keyboard programming any atmosphere but when power came and power fell Peter said this is that this is that which was spoken by prophet Joel there's frustration in ministry today because the power component has not been incorporated there is frustration today in the presence of darkness because genuine power we have not paid the price and for those who have tasted a bit of it we have camped around that peripheral level whereas there are deeper levels of power Yes, sir. The days of his power. If Jesus himself had to be declared as the son of God with power, it means every believer in Christ, listen very carefully, every believer in Christ, it is your responsibility to work in partnership with the keys I'll be sharing with you to make your calling and your election sure please let me speak to you respectfully if you're a man or a woman of God here people have a right to suspect you and think you are a burden to God's program until you validate your call among the many evidences by the display of the power of God to change to heal to deliver to set free by the time you come into a family ladies and gentlemen and within three days their lives change, doors open, the yokes of witchcraft broken because you came. Elisha said, oh king, don't be afraid. Let no man come and let him know that there is a prophet in Israel. Holy, holy. Blessed is he who comes in the name of our God. 
I remember many years ago just when we were at the infancy just even preparing to start this walk I remember one of the spectacular miracles that God did I had seen bits and pieces of the grace of God but that would be an event where God healed someone he was on phone I prayed for that gentleman I don't know where he is probably he's somewhere around the world even listening today he had a, a medical condition where his spine the spine was broken they listed you know how they, they name all those things and it was broken and they were waiting for some people from India at the teaching hospital in Zaria and I prayed for this gentleman I remember he was even wearing a neck um, what do you call it a collar and I prayed honestly looking from this standpoint I don't know if I believed a miracle will happen or not but I remember praying and that gentleman removed everything and ran to his mother's room it was when night call just started and the only thing I know is that the mother shouted Jesus and that was it let me tell you the next day in that family you know how people come for burial people came to verify is this thing true I myself it was when I saw the gentleman who came with the x-ray I remember when that thing happened let me tell you over the next maybe one month I got calls from medical personnel I got calls from several people I have this disease that means people have been hurting but until they find where genuine power can walk they would rather just keep quiet with their pain Lega prega teka teka paka toshka tapra teka kapras ke paka tosha peka ta. Oh, restore power, restore power, restore power to the body, restore power more than the speakings of men, more than the philosophies of men, more than falling down and standing up, more than just speaking philosophies. Restore authentic apostolic power to your body. Let me tell you the truth it is not difficult to take a nation believe me when i tell you it is not difficult to take a territory territories were supposed to be taken to the degree to which they see the excellency of god's power we have replaced power with good speaking and there is a place for it but let me tell you if we believe we are going to save this generation just by the gist thing we are saying we will be disappointed i can tell you why will I not go to a herbalist when I try every option and every pastor prays for me and nothing happens and yet I am dying? Don't tell people don't go to a herbalist, don't go back to the village, don't go to, you don't know the desperation of people's pain. When you understand what people can do in the presence of pain, you will cry for power rather than condemn people until you give an alternative that is superior, an alternative that is provable. Forget about this cheese that you say, don't go to the devil. Hallelujah. That little incident would be the beginning of mighty things that God would do through my life, but it was a lesson. I remember the frustration that I felt as a young man of God just starting out. That I would, I remember one time I went to pray for someone and I spoke to that man, I laid my hands upon him. He was on a wheelchair. The wife absolutely believed in me. She beat you. you. You couldn't have said that they, it was unbelief. The woman believed in me with all her heart that if I stepped into their house, that man would stand up from the wheelchair. But I prayed for him sincerely. Let me tell you the truth by the privilege of God's grace. I don't claim to know so much, but I've read this Bible a bit. Believe me when I tell you. I quoted scriptures, I taught her doctrine. Then it was now time for performance. 
and I stood right there and said in the name of Jesus I decree and declare Lord by your mercy this and that and that absolutely nothing happened you see not many people will be honest to tell you this everybody will just talk all kinds of nonsense I left that day and I said God this is not good it's not good for me it's not good for my mindset it's not even good for my health and it's not good for the people you are sending me to can I tell you a time will come where people get used to you being powerless it's a dangerous state as a man of God when people conclude you people have groups in their minds they know those who are serious they know those who are sincere but powerless and they know those who are joking when they really have problems, they know who to meet. In one day, nations can be saved if they can truly see the power of God, even by the Spirit of God. The Bible says Jesus was declared to be the Son of God with power. Please sit down. Thank God for the testimonies that we see and we celebrate. Thank God for the little that God does in and through our lives. But believers, let me submit to you. Look at me, please. How many of you will celebrate dew just falling during rainy season? As powerful as dew is, is it enough to cause your crops to grow? It takes, it takes rain. It says, ask for rain in the time of the latter rain. We are celebrating trickles in the body of Christ. One headache here, one miracle happening there. That is the reason why they suspect all of us and think that we are all whatever it is. Because there is a level of consistency that mastery must bring. That people can come and know for a shorty that in addition to hearing the counsel of God, they are going to see God in their lives overnight. Let me tell you the truth. It is not difficult to win souls. I tell you this, except and unless they see the display of the power and the glory of God. Men are not that stubborn. They just have not been transported to a realm higher than science. The replacement for power is philosophy and the explanations of men. And the excuse that men don't have faith. 